have another attempt at a flying car. You would think Elon is involved in here somewhere, but near as I can tell, uh, he's not. Xpeng is looking at releasing a flying car in Australia. It looks to me more like a drone. I think they're just picking car, trying to get people excited using the term car. But I mean, look at that. It's, I mean, that's big enough for a person to ride in, but doesn't it just look like a, a drone, like something that they're trying to figure out how to uh, deliver Amazon packages with. So yes, there are catches to this thing. And of course, I think this is in Australian dollars, so I'm not sure of the conversion, but they're talking $200,000 for this thing. Uh, 30 minute range. So it, it's got a little bit of range. Yes, everybody wants a flying car, but it's got some issues in that you need, well, 30 minute flying time would be one of them, but you need a pilot's license with it. So actually my idea would be that this should be more of a Tesla thing and make this their drones or their robo taxis or whatever. Because I think the trouble with the robo taxis is dealing with all the pedestrians and the fine tuning. And I think flying would be a little easier for the computers since we use computers in a lot of the planes today. Maybe not so much on takeoff and landing or or maybe they just can't handle the range or the battery power to run that many computers. But there is one note talking about the repair expenses of helicopters. Uh, some farmer apparently stated that this thing cost the price of replacing a engine in his helicopter. So apparently working on helicopters is extremely expensive. So yeah, is it, it, yeah, it's a gimmick because they're calling it a car and you need, well, the pilot's license. I mean, that's, that's no simple thing. So best case, this would be some sort of taxi, but I mean, what are you going to run with the 30 minute, 30 minute uh, run time? And then you've got to recharge. So it'd be hard to hire somebody to drive this thing and they run it for 30 minutes and then they've got to sit for hours waiting for it to uh, charge back up. Uh, they do state that there's a, two hour battery coming but that especially flying the the problem with the well electric cars is they're so heavy so it's even a bigger deal with a flying electric anything is that that weight is just massive so you've got to be able to overcome that so it's just harder and harder the heavier it get i mean even with the vehicle the heavier it get the harder it is so we'll see what they come up with i just thought this was fun uh, I mean, George Jetson makes it look so easy, but he's just got like a little lever, and I don't know that he needed a pilot's license. They have their little lanes in the sky that he runs on. Uh, thinking back to the Jetsons. So, I don't think the Jetsons are quite here, but I'm excited that they're working on some ideas. And maybe this would eliminate some of the helicopter traffic. I would think that would be more would be beneficial. Cut some of the greenhouse gases that helicopters are. Or if nothing else, just reduce the amount of fuel helicopters are using so that it can be used for other purposes. So we'll see. Testing in Australia. Maybe that's a good place to test it. A little more wide open. Take it in the outback and fly around. See what you can do. But that is a big country. I don't know how far you get in 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, maybe 15 minutes so you can get back. But that x -Pangs new flying car. We'll see what they what they come up with next. All right, thank you.